You right there ladies and gents, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of this Tamiya Hornet build. In the last episode, we got the chassis complete, all the steering, the suspension, all the electrics is all, all together now, and it's all pretty much ready to go. Off camera, I did connect the motor up, which I forgot to do when I was putting the wiring together, um, but that's all done now too. So in this episode, what I'm going to do is uh, prep and paint the bodywork, the body shell. Keep that bar from side down. Okay, because I'm a little bit of an idiot, I forgot to press record on the camera. Okay, so I've screwed together the torso bit with the head in the helmet, and I've also just pieced these two together as well. Okay, so we've got XF2, which goes on the body, X18, which is this one which goes on the straps and outline of the visor and on the backs of these. Then we've got XF15 which is flesh for the face. X2 is for the lenses on the fog lights. And then X14 is for the crash helmet. Okay, now I'm trying to do this in some kind of sensible order. So I'm going to do the bits that I can cover up if I make mistakes first. Um, so the first one I'm going to do is the flesh in the face. Now I'd just like to say here, I'm definitely not a model maker. Um, I'm not very good at painting detail and stuff like that so if this looks absolutely rubbish once I finished I do apologize for those of you that were looking forward to the painting bit I'm not very good at painting now I've got three brushes from uh, the order I've got this one here which is sort of a medium size this one here which is a fat biggie and then this one here which is a detailer now I'm going to be stuck with a lot of paint left after this but you never know I might get another car in the future god this is supposed to be flesh color don't know what nation he comes from. No, I don't have to be neat on this one. It's the next one that I have to start being neat with. <laughs> yeah, he's got a peach face. It's Donald Trump. <laughs> no, it's an impeached face. <laughs> oh, I'll shut up now. <laughs> None of my business. What goes on in where it's politics? Okay, I just popped off and did a uh, another coat on the body shell. Now then, XF2, which is this stuff here. Now, because his body is quite big, um, and I'm doing the detail afterwards. I can actually just use the big brush on this. Shouldn't be a problem at all. Maybe this is showing exactly how bad I am at painting by doing it this way. Cool. Right, that's his... Uh, Body done. Again, I don't have to be quite so neat with this because I'm doing the black afterwards, which will mean that I can uh, cover up any splooshes and splodges. I'm just going to whack this white on. Next up is the helmet, which is going to be possibly a little bit awkward to paint. Although it doesn't say to do it in the instructions, what I might do is paint the underside of his crash helmet black as well, just because, well, it'll just help it hide a little bit easier, on it? Right, I'm going to let that dry for a little bit, and then uh, once that's dry, I should be able to do the black to go around the visor underneath the crash helmet and uh, do his straps as well okay now this bit I'm really not looking forward to um, my hands are really not steady my knuckles are giving me grief with the arthritis and uh, from cutting out all them decals <laughs> I've just got a completely dead hand um, so this I, I have very very 
low hopes for this going well. Um, yeah, let's see how we get on. I'm terrible at painting, this is just ridiculous. I'd be better off not putting a dude in. It's just going to look awful, awful. Oh, I'm so rubbish at this. This paintbrush is rubbish. These are supposedly Tamiya paintbrushes, but I really, really can't get any joy with them. I really hope the camera can't pick out how terrible this looks. <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. Five-year-old could colour neater than this. Even when I was younger doing models, I was never any good at the painting bit. I don't know how people can do it so well with so much detail and all that. Still. Now then, this bit here is where I really mess up. <laughs> now underneath, I want to do all that black. But what I want to do is do this bit here first. Because then I can just screw it straight onto there. I know this is going to go so terribly wrong. It's got a blooming Nigel Mansell moustache. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> I'm useless. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to try and touch up around the edges of that when it dries. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't think I'm going to show any more of me painting this because it's not how to do it. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> so off camera I actually cut out the plastics um, down to the lines where it shows on the instructions of where it's supposed to be. I didn't really think about filming that, it just didn't seem like it was that big thing. Just use some scissors and cut round it all. It's not the neatest job. Um, I've got a little bit of arthritis in this knuckle and I'm left-handed and using the scissors meant that I was a little bit clusty, clumsy with it um, so I haven't done the best job of cutting it out. I am hoping that the decals and the paint will sort of uh, hide that a little bit. But anyway, it's all cut out and uh, it's basically ready to go for me to paint. Um, when we're painting it we have to paint underneath and do the back side of it which will give you a nice gloss finish on the uh, top side and it will also give it a little bit more protection from scratches and stuff too as the plastic will be protecting the paintwork so that's all good before we can paint the chassis we've got to uh, mask up the windows on it so i'm going to get this out of the way and we've got these little templates which we need to put in the various windows and bits on the car Well, that was quite fiddly with my uh, lack of coordination. <laughs> and then we just got this one to do, which is the rear window, which goes in there. Sorry, the camera angle isn't as good as it um, normally is, or as clear as it normally is. I'm using that uh, selfie stick for something else at the moment, so I'm unable to do it in that way. I had thought I might need to mask up bits that could get oversprayed, but actually because it's got this protective covering over the top of it, I shouldn't need to do that. Um, I can just peel it all off, which will take any overspray off it, which is quite good.
Okay, so I've put all the coats of paint onto the um, body kit, body shell that I need to. Basically, I kept going with layers until I ran out of paint. It's had a little while to dry. It still needs to cure overnight, really. But because the decals go on the outside of the plastic and the paint's on the inside of the plastic, it shouldn't really be too much of a problem. I not going to take out the masking that I've put on until it's cured but I am going to put the decals on today. I'm also really quite excited to see how uh, how this looks uh, because at the moment it all looks matte black and that's because there's a, a, a protective film over the top of these so um, yeah I'm just going to try and peel that off. I'm going to do this first I'm just going to work out how to get into it. Wow, that looks grand, I think. Quite impressed with that. Currently. <laughs> okay, now for the main bit, the big part. <laughs> Wow, that looks grand. That looks really good. Awesome. I'm really happy with how that paintwork's come out. I guess now it's time to get some decals on it. I think I have to cut these out. They don't look like they're cut, pre-cut, which is a bit of a shame. Um, it's a bit of a pain, uh, but I'm gonna uh, Mm, this is going to be awkward to do. I'm going to cut these out and uh, I'll do that off camera and then we'll get them applied. All right. well what I show you is going to be in all weird orders um, so I've been doing some painting I've been cutting the stickers now I'm going to start applying the stickers so uh, yeah. this has not been much fun <laughs> One of the problems with the stickers is that they're numbered, but when you cut them to the right size, the numbers come off them. Um, so now I have a big pile of stickers with no numbers on them. <laughs> oh dear. Now then, I've no idea how easy it's going to be to sort of separate the top from the bottom on these to then be able to place them down. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> right, let's do a small one first just to see what it's like. If I wasn't videoing this, I would have probably just cut them out as I was putting them on. But because I'm videoing it, I've got to uh, um, get them all prepped first. So 
So any of you who are more seasoned pros at this sort of stuff, I'd love to hear your tips on uh, how to apply the decals better. So that I don't mess up if I do this again. So this is the trouble, is you've got to get them lined up. And it says to just peel them off a little bit at a time. But because they're so small, I, I really can't do that. And it wants me to put this one over the top of the screw, which means this needs to be already attached to the body shell. I think it's a little bit wonky. <laughs> you can tell this is my first go at doing this. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Okay, so I've fucked up here. When I do the next one, I'm going to start at this end and work that way because this is rubbish.
yeah I should have cut along there well, there's a lesson learned the hard way oh, well. Right, that's the stickers on. Badly. And windows. Okay, now to put the stickers on the helmet. I've actually lost one. I don't know where it is. He was here. And now glue his head to the top of the truck. All right, I've had enough, but thankfully. I think we're finished. I think we're finished, guys. <sighs> That's a lot of mess. Right, let's get this tidied up and then I'll put this on the car for you. Okay, as usual, the tech causes me as many issues as the project itself. Um, yeah, for some reason, I've lost all of my video after putting the stickers on. I don't know where it's gone. I recorded it, but I don't know where it is. Um, yeah so this is the car complete um, those of you with a keen eye might notice that the wheels are a little bit muddy that's because I've already had a go at it I've already uh, flattened the battery and I've also I've also very cleverly trashed my Insta360 1R lens thinking I know what I'll record a 360 video the first time I ever play with a radio control car and I'm gonna mount the camera on the car um, yeah that was a bad idea <laughs> uh, yeah I mounted it up here and it was sitting around there which made it all rather top heavy and accelerating car flipped up and smashed the lens straight into the ground clever and what's even more clever is that in here I've got lens protectors for my Insta360 1R. What a knobber. But anyway, um, with that said, I can tell you that this car is blooming fast. It falls over a lot, but I imagine that's something to do with my inability. It's great fun. I will show you a video of it being used in anger and stuff like that. Um, we'll do that one as a later video though, because this one is way over length. Anyways, um, that's it. That's this build series complete. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you haven't done so already, please click subscribe. It'd be awesome to have you come back and watch some of the other stuff I do. That's more to uh, my channel's ethos, which is motorcycle related stuff. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, if you like the Tamiya Hornet, if you like radio controlled cars, if you like people that trash their really expensive cameras, thinking that they're clever um yeah give it a little thumbs up and if you don't like any of that and you don't like rc cars and you don't like me and you don't like anything that i've ever done you can always give it a little thumbs down that's all cool we don't mind we don't mind at all but whatever you do please do drop in a comment would love to hear from you and uh yeah play safe take care and i shall catch you all in the next one bye bye for now keep that quiet Rubber side down. Hey, no, you gotta keep that bar. Rubber side down. <laughs>